Well, you, you made, uh, the, uh, drew a distinction between uh, treating uh, addiction and punishing addiction, which suggests that perhaps unlike your partner, you're talking about addiction as a problem that needs to be addressed by the society. Are, are, do, you, do you split with each other on that? Do you think that it's just that, in other words, are you saying drugs, drug use is a problem? Well, I think addiction is a medical issue, and I think Nick and I agree that only a small percentage of people who use drugs become addicted to it. So most people are able to use marijuana and other drugs recreationally and go to work the next day. Uh, most people are also able to do that with uh, alcohol. Uh, for the percentage of people who have substance abuse problems with it, we know, the good doctor knows, that's a health issue. Uh, police, prosecutors, they make lousy doctors. Jailers make even worse doctors. So the way to treat that problem, the way to heal those people, it is to use what we know about medicine and not, we know, not what we know about locking people up because what we know about locking people up is it doesn't work. Dr. Donegal. Well, I, I actually don't agree that addiction is, a medical, is fundamentally a medical problem. Uh, and you think it's a moral problem? I do, yes. Wow. And it, well, a moral problem and a social problem and a psychological problem and a spiritual problem and it's only to a very small extent uh, a medical problem. I mean, there are medical consequences, of course, but this is not what is important. For example, everything I, th I think that everything you think about uh, heroin addiction is actually wrong. Uh, for example, you probably think that withdrawal effects from heroin are very severe. They're not. They're trivial. And the, uh, the overwhelming evidence is that by far the most suffering from uh, withdrawal effects is, um, is uh, psychologically induced. It's uh, anticipatory anxiety. It isn't the, uh, and there's good experimental evidence about this. You think that it's highly addictive. It isn't. Most heroin addic addicts go at it for about a year before they're ever actually addicted. You think that there's a connection, and I've described the connection, the supposed connection between crime and addiction. The idea is that an addict goes out to obtain money in order for his addiction. There's no correlation in the amount of crime he commits and the amount of drugs he takes. And actually, you find that they're all acquisitive criminals before they ever take heroin. 